Okay, this is really tricky, so I'm only gonna say it once. I guess you can press play as many times as you want. But uh, here's a wave, and it's going to be a, uh, a rope, let's say, that's doing this pattern, and it's a traveling wave, which means somebody probably way over here on the left side is shaking this rope, and the wave is going to the right. We can draw the velocity of the wave like that. That's our wave speed that way. <clears throat> and, um, well, if we want an equation to describe this particular wave, we can say that the wave is, let's see, what do I want to say? I want to say where the rope is as a function of, oh shoot, maybe we should set this up as where the rope is in, is in the y direction. So this will be y and this will be x. So where the wave is in the y direction as a function of where we're looking in the x direction. So this is actually a photograph because it's a graph of X and Y. You know, if you take a picture or a photograph, then you have a graph of where your subject is and where your subject isn't as a function of Y and as a function of X. So here's where the rope is, and I'm going to attempt to write an equation that describes where the rope actually is. So let's label some things in this picture. We know that this is going to be A, that's the distance between there and there, I guess it's also this distance right here. And we know that, oh, this length from here to here, well, that sucker is a length of peak to peak. That's a wavelength, so we'll call it a lambda. And I wanna throw this equation at you and see what you think. I'm proposing that the position is amplitude times cosine, because it's peaked at zero. Cosine of what? Well, cosine of x, because it will definitely depend on x, but also 2 pi over lambda. Now let's see what kind of sense this makes. I'm suggesting that the position is a every time the cosine gives me 1. So the cosine will give me 1 when its argument is 0, right there, because x is equal to 0. And the cosine should also give me 1 right here. What's x when we're right here? Well, x is lambda, because x is 0 here, x is lambda here. So if I plug in lambda right here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, plug in x equals lambda, so y of lambda equals, well, y of lambda is a times the cosine of 2 pi lambda over lambda. And that is the cosine of 0. Check it out. It's the cosine of 2 pi, which is the same as the cosine of 0, which is just equal to a. And this is also equal to the position at 0. And it's also equal to, oh man, this is also equal to the position at any number of wavelengths away. So we could even call it n times lambda. Any time you are a wavelength away, then you will find that the position of the rope is a. It is a up high. All right. That is fine, so let's take this general form here, a cosine of 2 pi over lambda times position, and <clears throat> think a little bit about what's happening as a function of time. I'll write this down here again, a cosine, this is the position of the rope as a function of the position of the rope, <laughs> like it, 2 pi over lambda times x. All right. Now, I want to propose that we sketch some ropes at various times in the, uh, in the evolution of the wave. We said the wave was moving to the right. So let's draw, maybe we'll draw, um, I was really hoping to draw four, but I'm not going to. Gosh, I had to draw five if I wanted that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the wave at time equals zero. And the wave is doing this at time equals zero. And... Um, I guess, ooh, one period later, when the wave has gone through an entire period, here, this is going to be t equals zero, this is going to be t equals period, down at the very bottom. When the wave has gone through an entire period, then I guess it will be exactly where it was when it started, because that's the essence of a period. It gets back to the state in which it was previously. So, I'm gonna be able to draw the exact same thing again at time is one period. So 
In between these two, we'll just draw a sketch of what's happening right before that. T is one half period. If this wave is in fact moving to the right, let's put it on here in purple, if this wave is moving to the right, then in between those two, we're gonna find it to be at a trough here because the wave is moving to the right. So it's at a trough at that, at the origin because this wave is going this direction. This particular peak here, let's put a little purple dot on this peak. This peak is going that direction and the peak is over here because that's the velocity of this peak. Maybe that helps a little bit. So we want to find out what this does to this equation. This beautiful equation here doesn't have any time dependence yet. So I'm gonna to try to get some time dependence in here. I want you to think about where this peak has gone. So the location of this peak can be described as a function of time. I wanna say that the peak location, x, of our favorite peak is, well, it's equal to lambda times t over period. Because when t is one period, it's at a location lambda. That's this distance right here. This distance right here is lambda. And it has gone one wavelength in one period. That's the definition of all of that stuff. The position of the peak is some fraction, t over the total time to get lambda away, some fraction of lambda. Maybe you want to look at it like this. Put a, actually put this in here and identify that this is a ratio. It says, hey, how much of a wavelength have I gone? Well, let's see, if t is one half period, then I've gone half lambda. <gasps> look, this is half lambda. Half lambda in a half period. Okay, all right, so if that's all right with you, then we can say that this equation is true. We're gonna say that the location of the peak minus lambda t over period equals zero. Ah, and you remember that this equation up here, this equation up here requires argument of zero for, uh, for, the, for our peak. If we give this an equation, an argument of zero, then we'll find our particular peak. It says that y is peaked when we have a cosine of zero. So I'm gonna take this stuff right here. This is one way that I can explain why I'm doing this. I'm gonna take this stuff right here, and I'm gonna say that I plug this in for x. If I plug this in for position, then I'll find a beautiful equation, and it's got some really interesting dependence on time. But I can show it one more way. What if we wanna consider um, <clears throat> the, the peak that was originally at lambda, this peak right here? This peak was originally at lambda. Now it's going to be at two lambda, but we need to show that it's a peak there also. We could say, uh, we could write this equation. <clears throat> X some other peak watch this, x some other peak minus lambda t over t is equal to lambda, or x some still other peak. If we wanted to take some other peak, additionally, we could say it's at n lambda, any of these. So we can plug that into this equation and watch what we get. I'm gonna be able to do this in two lines. Let's see if this color is bold enough for us. I wanna say that y as a function, no, I need a little bit more space. Nope, can't do it yet, I, need, I can't leave that equation right there. y as a function of position and time is a times the cosine of, and now I'm gonna plug this equation in for x, two pi over lambda times x minus lambda t over period. And then we spread it out. It's a times the cosine of. Oh, this is really beautiful. You're gonna love this. Look at our two pi. Our two pi is always gonna be there. We've got two pi times x over lambda minus two pi times, oh shoot. Well, first of all, this was some really terrible writing. That's a lambda. It's supposed to be a lambda right there. And then we've got two pi, oh man. We've got a t 
We're dividing by a t, multiplying a lambda. Lambda's gone. We've got 2 pi t over period. Look at this beautiful symmetry here. It says we got 2 pi times this ratio right here. How much of a wavelength are you talking about over to the right? And then we've got this ratio here, which says how much of a period are you talking about over to the right? This is not the way it's traditionally written, but I think it's really lovely in this way. Study it, and really, my point is, why is this a minus sign? This particular wave is moving to the right, and there's a minus sign right there. Go, figure it out.